still kind of shocked there's not that many people. Like, I was expecting, like, you know, to be pretty crowded, especially this time of year, but there's no one here but us. <laughs> that, that's kind of a relief. <laughs> when there's a lot of people chatting, it's hard to hear the animals do their thing. <laughs> so, uh, let's go in. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit, uh, nervous today. It's my first date, so... I have no idea how this will go, but I'll just do my best. <laughs> it's the first to you. Phew. Okay. That does take a lot of pressure off, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad. I was worried, like, that I wouldn't get to be as experienced as you hoped or something. Like when to do the date things. <laughs> well, first up, <laughs> the penguins. <laughs> the penguins are really popular. Normally it's really hard to get a good view of them because of how many people that'd be, but right now it's a perfect amount. Just us. <laughs> and the cute fairy penguins making their sounds. Yeah, penguins are pretty cool. You know, like the feathers on their back actually is used almost like a camouflage because when you're in like the really deep water and you're looking down, you probably won't see them. <laughs> Which is pretty helpful for the little guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, penguins can also be polyamorous or monogamous. Depends. I think they just like raising young together <laughs> and don't seem to mind too much. Which is pretty cute actually. Yeah. There's also cases of two male penguins falling in love. Also female penguins falling in love too. So there's Quite a few gay penguins out there. <laughs> so, I vote that we make penguins the new symbol of the queer community. You win? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so, um, did you want to see the next part? Yeah? Okay. Um, like it's okay if we don't, but, uh, can I, uh, can I hold your hand? Yeah, I, I've, like, I've gone to before that I, I got a bit nervous, I'll admit. <laughs> so that's okay. Okay. I'm glad. Your, uh, your hands are really soft, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, it's really comforting. Well, let's go. <laughs> the seals await. The sea doggos. Oh, they're not, they're not. They're not really related to dogs. They're closer to bears, but you know, like in my heart, they're the sea dogs. You know. <laughs> Here they are. I feel like if you look really close, you can actually see that they actually do have fur. It just doesn't look like they have fur. Yeah, their body looks really shiny. <laughs> I, uh, I think they're cute. They may not be sea dogs, but I love them. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I feel silly, but. When I was really little, I thought uh, they could only breathe underwater and they were holding their breath to come onto the land, but I found out uh, much later than I want to admit. <laughs> There's actually on land they breathe and 
in the water, they can hold their breath for about 20 minutes. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> I definitely cannot hold my breath for 20 minutes. <laughs> if I did, there'd be some concern, wouldn't there? <laughs> yeah, I doubt that'd work out too well. <laughs> uh, maybe five seconds. Maybe more. <laughs> I can't hold my breath that long. Yeah. Um. Which. Well, like, if, if someone were to. Like, I'll try my best to hold it. Yeah. Um, sorry, you're, uh. I got distracted, um. The lip gloss you have on's really pretty. Um. Um, any anyway. <laughs> uh. <laughs> let's, uh. Head on over to the little rock pool. Yeah. <laughs> this is a personal favorite. <laughs> yeah. So, when we're here, we can interact with the little sea creatures. I'm surprised there's no staff watching. I guess it's because it's just us, but. You wanna. You wanna touch a starfish? Yeah? Okay. Here they are. Make sure uh, you uh, sanitize your hands after you uh, touch a starfish. <laughs> okay. Hand in. Yeah, the water is pretty cold. <laughs> Just touch the starfish. Yeah. And they're pretty cute. <laughs> that little part in the middle is where they eat. Um, that middle part is also where they remove waste. <laughs> Sorry, too much, too much? Okay. <laughs> And we'll just uh, <laughs> move on to the sea urchin. <laughs> He's still giggling about the starfish. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, have a little touch of this sea urchin. You know, I can feel a bit funny. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. <laughs> you know, I uh, I would hang out at this little rock pool when I was really little. I was pretty much the size, like way sh shorter than the rock pool itself. I had to have someone pick me up so I could touch the starfish and the sea urchin and all the sea vegetation, but it's kind of surreal. I can just lean over and do it with anyone's help and not only that I I'm on a date with a pretty girl <laughs> while doing it I don't think my young self expected that <laughs> I can't say they would have known where things would have gone but something tells me she would be really happy to know this happens. I imagine that my little kid self didn't know that she was trans at the time, but I think she would have been really happy to know that in the future I'd be in this rock pool dating a girl while living as a girl. <laughs> I think that would have blown little me's mind. <laughs> I wonder what she would think. Do you ever wonder what your younger self would think? I... I think she'd be happy that you're being yourself. 
I know that can be scary to think about, but I think our younger selves would have been proud of us. <laughs> you wonder if we like, like met, like when we were really little and we just didn't know, and then like by fate get reunited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's, it's possible. It's possible. This rock pool doesn't have it, sadly, but some of the ones I went to, you could, like, touch a little stingray. <laughs> yeah. But I guess not in this one, which is perfectly okay. <laughs> Maybe another time at another aquarium. <laughs> let's, uh, let's keep moving. This little area always brought a feeling for me. A feeling that felt pretty cool. I think you're gonna like this bit. We just gotta open this door. And it's literally a glass tube. <laughs> so you can see the animals outside as if we're on the water. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful place. Yeah. There's so many fishes <laughs> just doing their thing. There's turtles too. There's the occasional shark here and there. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen. Well. Maybe other than you. <laughs> yeah, I know. A bit a bit cheesy, but um I'm enjoying this day quite a lot. And um well um it's okay if you don't wanna again, but um kiss you. Yeah. Just like it'll be my first time doing that, but um I'm feeling good about this, about being with you. It's been a short while, but are you okay with doing that? Okay, just me, you, and all the fish doing their thing. <laughs> but um, that felt good. How did it feel? Good? Cool. Shall we walk through the glass tube? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. They have a little, little pirate ship <laughs> that they placed on the water as a little prop. I think it's cute. <laughs> yeah, there's even stingrays. <laughs> I like. They almost look like they have a little smiley face. <laughs> So, uh, I know this has been a big step for both of us, and it's been so cool to see the animals so far of you. I think it's pretty cool <laughs> how we've progressed as people to get to this point, you know? Um, I'm glad we took that chance, you know? I may not know much about you yet, but as a trans girl myself, I know that 
to be ourselves, we have to go through a lot. And that isn't easy to do, so I want you to know that I really, really am proud of you, okay? Moments like these are worth celebrating. Because moments like these come because you believe in who you are. And that's perfectly okay to be a trans girl and date other girls. That's perfectly okay. Yeah. And as we see the cute animals minding their own business, swimming around, eating some food. <laughs> It makes me think how much we went through to get to this moment. It kind of tells me that we made it. <laughs> There's a lot of little challenges to being ourselves. <laughs> the despite people's negative opinions towards people just being themselves and loving who they love. We... we made it. The world's scary, but it's getting a bit better. Little by little. And through that, I... Well, I know that everything's gonna be okay. Cause... I get to go through this little aquarium with you. <laughs> and that seems to be making my heart really warm and fuzzy. Yeah. So, let's check the rest of the aquarium. Yeah. Oh, and uh, one more thing. When we get to the gift shop, Try to make sure I don't buy too many plushies of the cute animals. I'm bad at self-control. With plushies, specifically. <laughs> yeah, they just, they always get me. They look too cute. It's kind of not fair. <laughs> but, luckily, before that, I have more animals I want to show you. Let's go. And, uh, thanks for coming along with me. <laughs> <laughs>